Woodstock photos that tell the story of what it was like. Woodstock 1969 The 60s were a magical time for many people. It was a time of peace, love, bell bottoms, and flower children. One thing that many people remember about the 60s is Woodstock 1969. It was a three-day festival held in upstate New York on a farm in Bethel starting on August 15, 1969 and at least 400,000 people got together to celebrate peace, love, and music. People didn't know back then that Woodstock would be something that people would talk about for generations to come, and overall it was terrific. Many people photographed the event, and most of the photos signify the unity of the day. However, historians found disturbing photos during the Woodstock Festival in 1969. Number 1. Nap Time Woodstock was a three-day outdoor festival so people slept anywhere they could. People slept in vans, tents, and on the ground. The man in this picture found a quiet place to nap on these two cars to take a break from the event. Everyone had to sleep sometime, and some got creative, like the man in this photo. Number 2. Getting there wasn't easy With over 400,000 people attending the festival, getting there wasn't easy. The streets in Bethel resembled a parking lot because so many people were on the road trying to get there. Eventually, the road was shut down, and many people left their vehicles on the street and walked the rest of the way. Many people couldn't access the entrance road to the festival, even though the New York State Thruway remained open the entire time. Getting to the festival became even more complicated when the state police closed the Newburgh and Harrison exits to prevent people from getting to the festival. When Arlo Guthrie was on stage, he announced that the New York State Thruway was closed. You can see in this photo that people didn't seem to mind being stuck in traffic and they made the best of it. Number 3. Jimi Hendrix Performed Jimi Hendrix played on the festival's third day, but he wasn't with his regular band. His band broke up before the event, so he performed with Gypsy Suns and Rainbows, and the set's first song was the Star Spangled Banner. It's incredible how well they did, considering it was their first time sharing the stage, and those who witnessed the performance will never forget it. Number 4. Janis Joplin Attended the Festival the legendary singer Janis Joplin performed on the second day of the festival, and she was paid $7,500 to perform. Janis started the set with Peace of My Heart, her biggest hit, and she sang several other songs. Janis and her band were flown in by helicopter since the roads were blocked, and she told the band to pretend it was just a typical gig. When the performance ended, she stayed at the festival to enjoy it with everyone else. Number 5. John Sebastian Wasn't Scheduled to Perform John Sebastian founded the 60s band The Love and Spoonful, and they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. John attended the festival as a guest, but when Woodstock's organizers saw him watching the show from the sidelines, they approached the singer and asked him to perform. John agreed and played two songs on the acoustic guitar and three unreleased tracks, and the audience went wild. Number 6. Bigger Than They Ever Imagined the Woodstock organizers expected around 50,000 people to attend the event. Initially, they wanted to hold the event in Woodstock, New York, hence the name, which was a summer artist colony and a favorite for many musicians. When the organizers realized the space wouldn't be large enough for the crowd they expected, they changed the location to Wallkill, New York. People in the community heard how many people would attend the festival and objected, so the organizers found a farmhouse in Bethel, New York. The organizers tried their best to prepare but never expected 400,000 people to show up. Governor Rockefeller suggested sending the National Guard in for crowd control, and Sullivan County issued a state of emergency due to the size of the crowd. Number 7. Everyone was invited When Woodstock's organizers planned the event, everyone was welcome to attend regardless of color, age, and gender. Some parents brought their children to the event, as you can see in this photo. This little girl seemed to be having the time of her life amid the chaos. Many pregnant women also attended the event, and sadly, some miscarried at Woodstock. Number 8. Sri Swami Sachinadanda's Speech Sri was a well-known spiritual teacher in the 60s and gave a speech to kick off the event. He stood before a crowd of 400,000 people listening intently. He talked about energy and the power of music. He went on to say that musicians were superhuman beings and had the ability to control the universe with their music. When the festival started, Sri sat on a bedspread with microphones around him so he could lecture and teach the surrounding crowd. Number 9. 
it was the place to be. The 60s were known for tie-dye clothing, daisies, hippies, and peace. Woodstock's organizers wanted to bring people together and believed it would be the perfect place. Young people from all over gathered with their friends and partners to enjoy the music and come together in peace. The organizers tried to recreate the event in 1999, which ended in disaster. Obviously, the peace, love, and freedom of the 60s can never be recreated. Number 10. A Shanty Town Several areas of the festival looked like a shanty town with campsites everywhere. Some brought their buses onto the festival grounds and used them to create a wall to divert their minds from the real world. People used the insides and the tops of abandoned buses to sleep and watch the show. They also used the tops of cars to get a good view of the bands on stage. Number 11. Makeshift Businesses Woodstock is famous for the bands and the fantastic music, and people also enjoyed shopping. Plenty of makeshift businesses popped up during the three-day festival and people sold clothing, crafts, and even drug paraphernalia. Anyone who needed extra clothes had no problem finding something, and they left with a souvenir to remember the day. Number 12. Unusual Sleeping Arrangements Most people attended the festival stayed for all three days, meaning they had to spend two nights sleeping outdoors. Also, psychedelic drugs were abundant, and many people were looking for a place to chill out. There wasn't any room left on car hoods in the tops of buses, so this man decided to take a nap on his motorcycle. Unusual sleeping arrangements weren't uncommon at Woodstock, and it was really a sight to see. Number 13. Go Your Own Way This is a photo of signs hung from trees at Woodstock. Attendees could follow Groovy Way, making you think about bell-bottoms, flowers, and groovy times. They could also take the Gentle Path Highway, and there were likely drugs down that path. People didn't have to follow just one route, and many took both paths to ensure they saw everything. Number 14. Jam Sessions Many Woodstock attendees wanted to join in with the musicians on stage and started their own jam session circles using anything they could find to make music. The jam sessions consisted of friends and total strangers making music together without problems. They just wanted to have fun, and it was a much simpler time. Number 15. The Sound System Bill Hanley was the sound engineer at Woodstock, and it was up to him to set up the speakers. He created speaker arrays on tall structures that he designed himself. Bill was told that he needed to make the music loud enough for 150,000 people to hear, and nobody expected over 400,000 to show up. Fortunately, Bill's sound system design was flawless, and the music was heard by everyone, even those in the back. Number 16. An experience like no other. People who didn't go to Woodstock get jealous when they hear about how amazing the festival was. Hundreds of thousands of people gathered wearing bright colored clothing to celebrate love and peace. Between the crowd, the feeling of love and peace, and the incredible music on stage, Woodstock was a once-in-a-lifetime event that can never be recreated. 17. Beautiful Weather Overall, the weather cooperated during Woodstock, and the temperature during the day ranged from 79 to 83 degrees. The nights were cooler, and the temperature dropped to 55 to 65 degrees. It started to drizzle on the first night, and by 10 p.m. that night, it was pouring, and the performances ended four hours early. Nobody let the rain ruin their fun, and many danced in the rain. The festival and the fun continued when the sun came up the next day. Number 18. A Day with the Kids Many parents brought their children to Woodstock, as you can see in this photo. Dad brought his kids to Woodstock in a psychedelic bus and had a bag full of snacks for the kids. The children in this photo are around 60 years old today, and attending Woodstock is likely something neither child will ever forget. 19. Carlos Santana Carlos Santana brought Latin rock to Woodstock, and he and his band had the crowd going wild. During an interview with Rolling Stone, Carlos admitted to taking psychedelics before his performance and assumed he would come down before the performance and he'd be fine. At 2 p.m., he was still peaking and had to go on stage or miss his set altogether. Despite being high, the set was incredible, and some say it was the best performance of the entire festival. Number 20. Sharing Food Woodstock's organizers didn't expect over 400,000 people to attend the festival, and food was scarce. Fortunately, the festival was all about unity and love, making many people want to share their food with those who didn't have any. Some volunteers offered their time to feed the hungry, 
and their age, gender, and nationality didn't matter at all. Sadly, you wouldn't see something like this happen today. 21. The First Performer to Get On Board The festival's organizers wanted to get some great bands to go to play at Woodstock. The first act to sign was Creedence Clearwater Revival, and getting them on board gave the organizers the confidence that they could get more well-known performers to sign on. And they were right. Most of the great musicians of the 60s performed, and there may never be anything like it again. Number 22. It's just mud. When it poured on the first night of Woodstock, mud puddles formed all over the venue. Rather than leaving or trying to stay clean, many attendees chose to jump in the mud and have the time of their lives. The man in this photo is covered in mud, and it doesn't seem to bother him. Just being at Woodstock made everything else worth it. Number 23. Private Time With over 400,000 people filling the venue, many people needed to break off for a while to get some quiet. This is a photo of a couple sharing a quiet, intimate moment. It doesn't seem like they know they're being photographed, and they seem to enjoy being together. 24. Fortune Tellers Plenty of fortune tellers at Woodstock helped attendees learn about what was to come. This is a photo of just one of the fortune tellers reading a woman's palm. Many of the fortune tellers provided their services for free because Woodstock was all about love and generosity. Number 25. The Rain Dance when it started to rain at Woodstock, many attendees got together to perform a rain dance to get the rain to stop. Unfortunately, the rain didn't stop, but it didn't affect the attendees' moods. They seemed to be having a great time doing the rain dance, and eventually, the rain did stop. <laughs>